Welcome to the channel. Building overseas doesn't have to be a nightmare. My goal is to help you make that dream a reality. I spread weekly tips on the process of building that dream home and the lifestyle it brings. So check out my videos, subscribe and share. Thank you. Good afternoon, evening somewhere in the world. I hope you are doing very well. It shows my mic is working, but you know how sometimes it goes. Glad to be back with you guys. I've uh, been missing for a couple of weeks now. You know, sometimes a little break is needed. I hope everything is going well with you guys. Um, so just, you know, just chit chat with you a little bit. Let me know if you have any questions with all the stuff that's going in GH, uh, with the economy and um, whether you should build, not build, whether you should stay back and wait, you know, we can we can take a crack at it, okay? So let me know who you are. Let me know if you can hear me, see me, and then we'll keep it, you know, we'll keep it uh, moving. Okay, I appreciate your feedbacks um, and stuff. So anyway, a uh, lot going on in the world. <laughs> uh, Ukraine well, you know, inflation, global infl inflation. Some places are uh, super inflation. So a lot is happening, and the goal is to to adjust, right? I think, yes, you should have uh, some priorities uh, straight uh, and then uh, adjust with the times, right? Uh, the future belongs to those who are versatile. Uh, those who are strong-willed and those who are savvy and can adjust, right? Um, okay, so so that's all we need to do for for most of us. So um, obviously, uh, if you are bidding right now, it's crazy, right? Prices, uh, not just on materials, labor as well. Uh, they do add up. <laughs> everything adds up. Um, everything has gone up. You know, inflation in Ghana. You know, saying about 50%, I think it's probably double that easily. Um, because everything, goods and commodities, especially, right? Um, has gone up fuels up, you know, diesel, petrol, uh, granite. I mean everything, right? Toiletries, everything, everything uh has gonna accept uh the salaries, right? So so just one of those things that we have to factor all that in so we can be successful in whatever we are doing and stuff like that. So I'll I just share my thought also with some of the stuff I'm doing. So check in. I see some eyeballs in there. So check in. Let me know who's watching um, and stuff like that. We can uh, we can take it from there. So you know, right now, this question has come up. Hey, Tony, what do you think? You know, with all the stuff that's going on, should I build? Um, should I invest in Ghana? Should I do all that stuff? And I say, you know, there's realities that we have to factor everything in, right? So not just not just you don't look at it just at lens and gotta look at globally, right? Uh, a lot of people, um, you know, tech companies are letting people go. Uh, some have severance packages. I have some friends that got let go, some got a, a good severance package, others did not, right? So you have to factor all that in. Um, I think based on what I'm hearing. Um, inflation is going to go on. There will be job losses probably to the first quarter of next year. Um, so we have to think about all that stuff as well. So in terms of what is happening in Ghana, am I surprised? No, I am not surprised at all. Because um, um, I have a couple of people that gave me heads up about a year ago um, that Ghana is really is in a messy situation. All this thing is going to uh, come into uh, you know, some reality. So I'm not surprised about that. The only thing I'm surprised is the Ghanaian, the population ability to be quiet, right? That is what I'm surprised about. But in terms of the mess, um, I'm not, not really surprised um, at all. Um, so we have to factor that in. How do we not put ourselves in that kind of conditions, right? So please check in, put a comment in there to make sure, I want to see if the comment section is working and stuff. I appreciate that. Thank you. So we have to look at all that, the global impact. Um, so that means, you know, we have to discipline with our money. This is the time to be very, very disciplined and keep your priorities straight. Uh, this is not a YOLO time, man. It's not a YOLO time, right? Um, we got to be smart about these things. So the goal is to build yourself well to, 
to have a quality of life for perpetuity, you know, for the rest of your life. That's the plan. The goal is not to blow all your money. Um, and then uh, as you get older, you are forced to work even harder, you know, so work smart. That's the goal. So you have to have your game plan and fire your game plan. Don't look at IG how somebody's living. Chances are it's not real. Don't burden yourself with that, okay? So when it comes to Ghana, you know, um, I know some people that are really hard. hard. You know, if you are in the co commodity business, you know, imagine in how do you even price these things, right? You, you know, you bought it. Um, you know, you can say the, the value has gone up, but then uh, you don't even know um, how to charge because, you know, people don't have the money. Uh, a lot of people are struggling, you know, stuff like that. So even if you have real estate, people are not renting, people don't have the money to buy. Um, so you have to factor all that thing, all, all these things in. Uh, unemployment uh, is going up a little bit. Uh, businesses have closed a little bit in Ghana based on the information I'm getting. Um, it's just difficult, right? So it's a lot going on there. I'm not the person that I always believe you have to, you know, think that the world is coming to an end kind of person. I think um, um, circumstances like COVID and the inflation and the super inflation that's going on into the world, I think uh, it exposes people in terms of how they've been handling their priorities and their finances, right? If you have been doing the right thing, living below your means, investing well, you know, being smart, you, you know, you don't get hit very hard. You don't. If it's like, um, and if you're not doing that too, it's, it can feel like the world is coming to an end. So the goal is not to go through these cycles, right? Okay? So some of the things you could do in Ghana in terms of investment aspect. Uh, can you guys hear me though? It's interested. Um, if you can hear me, let me know. Um, so some of the investment um, stuff that you could do, I think, um, will be... The number one, I would say, is still like uh, acquisition of land. Uh, granted, um, now you got to be really careful because, uh, you know, people are struggling and people are coming out with different ways to, you know, to make money, right? And so thank you, Leslie. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the feedback. So land, I think, is still a good thing. That's my tip, inside tip. It's a good thing if you can get them now. And I think this is the time you can negotiate prices down especially if you are bringing foreign uh, currency. Um, so there's the time, you know, you can you can start with, if they say the land is 100,000 cities, start with 50,000 cities because chances are they need the money now. So this is the time you can do it. And then make sure it's legit. Do the <laughs> all the work and, 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 you know, and then secure it. So, um, and then that we can talk more detail. When you come to the consultation, right? You can come to our consultation, the way to find us. That's our website below. Um, you know, below like right there. Okay. You can we can get into detail how you can secure this land and, and stuff like that. Make sure that um, you know, you don't you don't get yourself caught up in some, you know, land litigation and all that stuff. Okay. So land is still a good a, a good thing. Um, you know, real estate, you know, is um because the thing we have to understand. And you know, the truth in Ghana is that um, there's a lot of real estate. Uh, there's a lot of housing over there now. People just can't afford to rent them or buy them, right? Uh, because now everybody's holding their money to their chest, right? So that's the truth. That's the honest truth. Um, even um, even the, the the apartments and stuff like that in this prime location, you know, some some still uh, empty because it's like uh, you know people are. Uh, trying to pinch pennies and then make wise decision uh, on their money now because of the global um, circumstances, right? So, so it's very, very important. And I will say this, you know, I think, uh, what is it? The network is your net worth, they say, right? So I think we should expand our network to people that are very, very understand these financial dynamics. It looks like in the next few years, there'll be another thing, you know, um, there'll be another major thing in global economy. So how do you, how do you position yourself um, and, and, and uh, to make sure that you don't, you don't get hit too hard? Your YouTuber, your favorite YouTuber might not have the information. So it's always good to, 
to you know to to bring uh, to develop friendship that brings value and also hopefully you you are bringing value to the to the table you know as well uh, because it's very very important um, that you look at things uh, because you know what uh, even on YouTube there's propaganda too as well um, so um, is not if somebody's promoting Ghana as business as usual that's not good because there's a lot of local dynamic changes that is going on right okay so give you a shout out leslie thanks for joining me here i appreciate you taking the time martin's bro i hope all is good with you uh fifi dankwa i hope everything is good in the other side of the world um so so if you have any questions you can throw in there we can we can i can take a crack at it and so I would say, you know, land still has value. If you are building, I would say still, it's kind of like you have no choice for a residential home. You know, you still got to uh, grind through this um, this inflation or super inflation. Cause, but this is also where the experience comes in uh, because you can't afford to make sloppy mistakes. You can't afford to be tearing down projects because the architectural plan was not thought out because the builder was not competent or to the level to deliver and add value to you because everything counts every dollar counts if you don't respect money you can't make money uh every city matters um and so this is where that uh we got to hone in and make sure that your money is being used wisely and not be throwing money all over the place okay and so so and you have to always think about this way you know um you know, you got to, uh, I'm an advocate of, you know, financial freedom, financial discipline, uh, because if something ever happens to you, nobody's going to show up and, and write checks um, like that. You're going to be on your own. <laughs> That's the beauty of life. So you just got to take care of yourself, right? And put yourself in a position that uh, you are not calling people and begging for money. Um, I think that will, if you're a winner, that will break your spirit. Um, you know, stuff. So don't put yourself in that position. Okay. Plan well, plan smart. Um, for me, what do I think? What is going gone? I think, uh, granted I knew something was coming, um, because I've given, I've been given a heads up about a year ago. And I believe those guys, they know what they're talking about. Uh, they follow the money in Ghana. So when the money is moving away, <laughs> you know, it's about to hit the ground. Um, and the street always react late. Okay. So, and so, but, but also too, for me too, it's like, uh, it gave me a wake up call a little bit to reassess everything I'm doing in Ghana, uh, the investment or the money that's been pumped in and that I've made adjustment, um, um, also to, you know, going forward, how I'm going to do things. And then maybe, maybe, you know, Ghana becomes just one of the vacation spots. You know, I want to travel the world uh, starting next year. Every year I want to go to a different country. I'll still go to Ghana. But um, I want to see what else is also in the other part of the world. And so I'm putting things in place to be able to, you know, to do that. So not bind myself to GH as much as I love that place to death. I'm not going to tie myself down like that. Um, and so starting next year, I go to, I go the goal is to go to every other continent. I already start have about ten countries in the list that I want to visit, um, and then there's about uh, four African countries in there as well. And so the goal is to just go there and see what what is bigger uh, beyond Ghana. Okay. Uh, relief inside, relief inside. Um, it depends on it depends um, um, if. Uh, if the current administration in Ghana will start being knuckleheads and admit that uh, they are not competent for the job and even implement some of the stuff the IMF is telling them. I'm not a fan of World Bank and IMF, but I think we've gotten ourselves into a mess and some of the recommendations uh, they are requesting the current administration to do in terms of one being reduce the number of uh, uh, MPs and other things. 
um, if they can do that, then maybe you get a little bit some some relief. Um, but but as as of now, they don't want to do it because um, those are their own boys. So expect something. I think uh, in the next five six months up to April, in the first quarter of next year, is gonna be something like that. Um, and um, and that is only on the Ghana side. So imagine there's another war somewhere in the world that complicate things, right? So, and that is the thing that we have to look at Ghana with our minds, not our hearts. Um, because the world in inflation is all over the world, but when you have uh, people in power who are not um, doing the right things, um, is is going to compound the problems, right? And so, um, and it looks like the Ghanaian citizen doesn't have the stomach to actually do anything about it. So we have to look at that. Um, you know, invest half a million dollars, a million dollars into the country, or a hundred thousand, or whatever, and then to find out that um, you know some policies and some lack of governance is just going to make all your investment go to waste. You have to think about that as well. And decide where you want to do. I'm all I'm all about just don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, all about like just you know keep your eyes open, invest here. There's so many things we can do in the West. Um, I think your money is much more secure here. I think so. Than in the Ghanaian bank. Um, I think so. Because <laughs> uh, those who even have money there move the money out. So. Um, so we just have to, so any relief, man, I think like Leslie, we are our own reliefs, right? <laughs> so we can, we can put our hopes and aspirations on the, on the current administration right now, both parties, you know, we can't do that. So we just have to be smart about it and, and then, uh, start making decisions, you know, getting on the ground, um, getting more information besides your YouTuber that you follow. Um, and understand that uh, what the government says actually in terms of the inflationary numbers is much, much higher than what is actually, okay? Well, you know how it is. Listen, the proof is in the pudding. Um, in theory, a lot of things sounds good. is execution and stuff like that because some of these people in parliament actually are uh, um, have apartment complexes, and definitely they will want the the year two year deal, especially in Dallas. So I don't, I don't, I don't. You know, you get to a point you don't even listen to what people are saying anymore. You just, you just look at the actions, right? So in theory, if it's executed, it would be a good thing. But the question is, um. Even the rent control policy, when they say people should not could not be able to rent for six months, people still do it. People still do a year, two years. So um, we will see. Um, and so um, we'll we'll see how it goes. I think I think that also has is uh, is um, there's pros and cons to it. You know, if you want to look at, you know, you know, getting the six month a year deposit because. Um, you know, sometimes what happens if the person destroy the property and then they leave and then they move somewhere else? How are you going to find them, right? So sometimes if they have some healthy deposits, um, maybe sometimes, you know, you can use that for to fix some of the problems. So except like in our part of the world, it's always execution. So we'll see. Uh, we will see. Uh, we'll see how it goes because I feel like... Um, um, you know, it's like uh, I've heard this before, and so let's see how it goes, Fifi. Maybe, maybe it's going to work this time. But um, I right now people need money. People don't want one month. If anything, they want three years in dollars. They don't want one month. So I think it's even the wrong time to even. I understand what they're trying to do though, because rent is so high, and people can't can make enough money to do six months a year. Okay, I understand that. So then create economic conditions that people can do that. So that's how you solve that, right? Create economic conditions for that. But that is difficult. So instead, uh, you don't want anybody to charge uh, 
you know, like um, you know, a month, uh, more than a, you know, six months or a year, that kind of stuff. So see how that plays out. Night train, Grease from Seattle. Thank you, thank you. Hope all is well. Hope it's not gloomy anyway. Uh, I love Seattle. I'll be back in Kirkland maybe next year uh, and stuff like that. So, well, I mean, whoa, bro, it's a long time, long time, man. I hope everything is good in that part of the world. Uh, let's link up. We haven't talked in a while. I hope all is good on uh, the building. I hope you are done by now. Okay. So, so, all right. Yes, yes, Seglame, Seglame. I heard he's been sold to a private <laughs> company. Um, man. So, um, the the solutions are simple, right? And so, when these people in parliament are trying to make these laws, um, it doesn't work because they don't even do the simplest things. Um, and so they and they don't even believe in these laws. They, you know, so it's not gonna do anything. Uh, stuff like that. So I agree. You know, let them fix those uh, and and not just segment this other uh, parliament unit that's you know spread out in the country that uh, use taxpayers' money that's sitting idle uh, for a while. So they can lead by example, but that is not going to happen. I put hundred k on that. It's not going to happen. What's up, bro? Hopefully you are not in the air flying the plane and watching this video. Yeah, I hope all is well uh, and everything is good. Crohn's is in the list. Yeah, yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I got, I'm coming there. I'm coming. I'm coming there like, um, uh, yeah, yeah, Mozambique. You know, we'll probably link up when I, so I have a couple of countries that I'm going to start visiting next year. Because uh, uh, there's, there's this Ghana, this Ghana thing, the, um, I just can't be tied down like that now. So I got to travel. So next year, um, I will hit, um, I think uh, the first African country I might go is probably either somewhere in the east uh, or, you know, central. Um, so, so yeah, I'll hit our list. Uh, hit our list. I will see if I can... My goal is to do 50 countries. I want to see how far, how far I can go. Um, so, so next year will be will be the first start, and so Ghana doesn't count. Okay. Nice, nice. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the weather. Uh, keep your eyes open. The street is hot. That's the information I'm getting. Uh, put your diamond chain. <laughs> <laughs> And so it's hot. The street is really hot. Uh, hey, freedom is now free. Uh, so uh, that's right. That's right. You know, it takes time. It takes time. It takes time. Philip, thank you. Um, thank you for for joining me. So put some questions. Um, uh, we can do this. So so my goal. My goal is like. With the crazy things in Ghana still going on, uh, challenges, I think there's still some opportunity. And I mentioned earlier in the land aspect of, uh, you know, uh, because right now you can negotiate all the crappy, all the crazy prices they they, are, they were charging. Now we can get them back, uh, especially we have the foreign currency and negotiate those things down because they need the money right now. They do. Yes, you know. They're doing the, uh, the the one of the things that is happening for them that they're able to collaborate, uh, collaborate, and I think that is the thing with our people. We are not able to do that. I just don't know why, and uh, because uh, so they are able to do their stuff. Okay. Yes, yes, it's true. I train is true. It's a fact. That's true. Um, so because look at it, I mean, so look at the economic situation right now. If you do month to month, right, a uh, price of diesel, everything, fuel, I mean, we're talking about it's going over 100 percent or more, right? Everything is going to save their salary. So they don't even have enough for the month. So these people are not living month to month. 
the the take home salary is not being cannot even take them home. It's just taking them around the building where they work, right? So imagine they have to pay next month's rent. It becomes very very difficult. It will be very very difficult um, for most people to be able to do that. But unless the people they have been, I, majority of the people in Ghana did not plan for this high inflation. They did not. They did not plan for this. So it becomes a struggle. Then what are you gonna do? You're gonna kick them out and all that stuff. So uh, people become desperate. So I think um, I would say I would say three to six months. I mean, I think three to six months. You know, maybe fair, uh, or maybe cap the rate or something like that. Um, but I think one month to month becomes very, very challenging, especially when salary is not uh, you know increasing and and everything is unstable in terms of. Uh, you know, inflationary prices and stuff. So it becomes very, very challenging. Good. That's a good point. Yeah, we do Kenya, man. Kenya, we're going to definitely do Kenya. From there, we're going to hit Zanzibar from there. So we're going to do Kenya, man. Uh, Kenya is on the list. Um, yes. So, uh, theft, yep, for real. So you said, deal. everybody who, you see, circumstances sometimes create even forces good people. I mean, when you got to eat, you got to eat. You know, if I got to eat, I got to eat. Um, so it forces people who are otherwise would not, in, you know, involve themselves in this uh, criminal activity. You know, when 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 you can see your life pass next week, you become desperate. So, um. One of the things would be, you know, if you have a secure room there that somebody probably lived in there in the in the complex to keep an eye on it. Or before you even buy uh whether because they're still they're still in everything, I'm telling you. Uh, they they even cut in like the iron rods which are in the uh, in the columns. If it's long enough, they cut in them. Um so definitely gonna take your your your, your wiring. If the opportunity comes as well. So even I, I'm waiting to get somebody to stay in the boys' quarters before I do certain things. So it's very, very important. It's very, very important. So I think before you buy supplies in, in, in larger quantities, storage becomes really, really important. And storage with supervision, right? If you chain it there, they will take the chain apart. For you guys not going to stop anything. So storage becomes really, really important for your iron rods, your cement, the blocks. You know, they're not going to bother with that. The chippings, you know, not really, unless they're building uh, next door. But even if somebody take the chippings, you can see uh, that some have been taken and stuff like that. They're saying I wouldn't worry about that. But the iron rods, the cement, uh, the cement, um, like plumbing equipment, electrical stuff. Yeah, you got to have um, a good storage, secure storage to, you know, to have them. Okay. Yep, Namibia, you know, Namibia, Namibia, yes, yes, yes. Um, how can we start screening as ever? Can you see really going to push uh, PV? <sighs> security, security. Um, uh, so I'm not going to go a lot into that because um, people do watch. Um, so security is a mindset. Security is a mindset. Um, there's visible security and invisible security. There's a bunch of things you can do. Um, the the most difficult one to stop is when you have internal collaborator, right? So you have somebody who lives in the premises. That's very very difficult. Um, you can't stop that uh, if somebody wants to do that. But I think one of the things we do is to make sure that um, doing that is potentially um, uh, if, if the, you know, if the person that is in your complex ever entertain the idea that they can collaborate for something to be done, uh, they must understand that that would be uh, the worst mistake they ever made. And that has to be very clear, right? But it's everything, things you can do in your building, your surrounding, and how you move, right? How you move, where you go, when you come up, when you come in, uh, the neighborhood. Um, and stuff like that. So it's very, very important. It's a ton. Uh, yeah, there's a ton that you can do, but I'm not publicly. I can't talk about everything else um, that you can do uh, here because um, 
Somebody's going to look at it and try to go around it, right? So you know how to find me. Book a consultation. We can talk. Um, I think I have more security knowledge than building. So um, so it's like, um, you know, I have great, you know, experience in that area and things you can do so you don't feel vulnerable. Yes, um, you know, people... Yeah, uh, there's criminal activity uptake. I'm getting the report on the ground, yes. Um, so you have to prepare for that. Um, you have to prepare for a lot of things, you know. Should you go to the bank and withdraw money? You know, how are you gonna do that stuff? So I can do a security video, probably a video for a whole year. Okay. Consultation. You know where to find me. So I am thinking uh based on what I'm hearing. Uh, first quarter next year, unless if nothing globally happens, so there's not another war going on. Uh, I think around April, May, we begin to stabilize and then uh, and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully, I think by then, Ukraine and Russia probably make a deal, some negotiations that time. So that's going to help around. But in terms of the Ghana situation, those knuckleheads over there, will have to make certain decisions and right now they are resisting so um and we are not willing to force them out so uh that might take a little bit but in terms of global inflation i think we should it's going to be there for a while inflation usually takes about a year to 18 months right um so if you look at a trend so it's going to but we have to be smart about how we move our money now this is the time to be like this is not a time to just hand in money like that man this is not a time um, there's a time to be to be making sure like the priorities are straight and and um, you know you the investment makes sense right okay so expect something like that exactly they have doubled you know they have doubled I'm hearing prices about you know 95 cities 100 cities uh, earlier this year it was like you know 55 60 cities um, you know stuff like that so it has doubled um, but I am not an advocate of minim using minimum cement. I, I'm not an advocate of doing that. Use the right quantity. But maybe building bigger now becomes questionable because it's gonna cost you twice the budget. So if it's 150, 200,000, it's gonna be 400,000, right? And so um, this is when layout over size, the series that I did, layout over size is important. There's big homes, some of us will build them. You're too big, you're never gonna use the space. Too much money, you know. Do your four bedroom, two thousand, twenty five hundred, maybe three thousand square feet. Big enough. You don't need six, seven, eight, nine. You don't. You really don't. Okay, you don't. And if you ask anybody that's builder already, they will tell you. So this is when uh, your builder becomes important. Uh, make sure it's efficient. They're not wasting anything, you know. But don't cut the corners on the building process. So use the same quantity, quality of iron rods, the same cement, the same ratio or more. Yes, it's going to cost you more. That means maybe your bridge, uh, your building takes a year or two. That's fine. That's fine. But don't, don't cut corners, please. Don't. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so this is for real. This is going on. Uh, it is going on. You know, there are other YouTubers don't talk about it, but but the street is hot. It's really really hot. Um, you know, people got to survive. Um, so you know, you gotta you gotta be careful about that. Um, and don't if you've never been hungry before, if you've never been put in a position that life become almost meaningless, you will not understand what others are willing to do for what you got. So so be smart. Uh, especially those going next month. Be smart. Um, so you're on your own, right? Security stuff, I'll talk about it, consultation. And if you want to talk how you can deal with this, how you can move through the city, you know, what you can do, where to go, um, how you know if somebody's tracking you down, you know, how you know if somebody's following you, if they're following you, what you're going to do, those stuff. Down here, consultation. Okay? So people are desperate. Male or females, they are desperate. So people are doing all kinds of stuff. And so we got to be careful, right? Yes, 
Yeah, you know, Zanzibar Zanz- 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 is nice. You know, uh, it's really nice. So it's it's on one of my my um my list. Um, I think in this few years, it's really nice. But I think I'll probably do Kenya and then um you know go go from there. Okay. So anyway, let's see. All right. If any more questions, I would like to keep it briefly short and stuff. So still, if you can get land, secure land though, do your homework, vet, triple check, quadruple check. Um, and if you bring your foreign currency, this is the time that you go in there and negotiate those land prices down heavily, uh, very heavily. They're overpriced to begin with. Um, and stuff like that so we can, you know, you can get them and secure them and hold the value for now. Um, other than that, like um, the other businesses, it's a great risk because like, people, there's no money in the system for you to buy. The city is just basically like um, in a coma, deep, deep level three coma, right? So if you are doing it in cities, uh, it becomes very difficult if you are renting now. Granted, people complain, why do people charge in dollars? Well, it sucks for you, the, <laughs> the renter, but the owner, it makes sense. It makes sense because uh, it's much more stable, right? Um, you think I should look at this project because it's still like that? Listen, it's already there. It's, um, listen, people do what they have to do to eat. And so they don't even have to legalize it. It's rampant, okay? Pause on project. And you got to be, so So the only way I would say pause on your product or grind along, it depends. You see, um, one advice is not forever. You got to look at how financially strong you are. And then you also have to look at how you are financing these projects, right? So for me, um sometimes the project will take priority over other things but most of the time other things first so investment retirement stuff here then every, then the project becomes that so it depends how you are financing these things and uh so you have to think about if you are working in the west layoffs is layoffs is going to continue it is coming Amazon is laying people off too, so it's going to happen for some time, right? Um, so you have to factor that in because the money, is, you put the money into the house, is tight and you can't get it back right now if you need the money. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do, um, and I'm not a fan like going to, um, you know, your retirement and take it unless, you know, you're in a position to, you know, build that back quickly, very quickly. And so, but for most people, if you are building, if you are, if you are building this project based on like, um, you know, like, you know, what I teach people basically is like, um, you know, you put money aside, you take some money from your race, um, the races that you get, um, uh, maybe if you get a tax return, um, bonuses and that kinds of stuff, or you do an extra job and you finance that, then go at it, then grind it out. Then grind it out. But I wouldn't advise that you deplete your savings for that. I would not do that. Um, don't do that. So so I wouldn't I wouldn't advise. For me personally, what I'm doing is next year, I said it uh, a few weeks ago, I'm going to put about 50% of how much I usually put into the project, 50%. That will be the max. Not do more than that, 50%. Um, and then I will reevaluate at the end of the year and see what else I want to do. So, so um, because I don't want to tie myself down, um, and especially if you have a place to stay, um, then then you can take a little bit of time. Like I don't even care if it takes another year for me to to hit the projected completion date. Yeah, it costs you more, but I don't want to be financially stressed. I don't want to be too tired. Okay. So you have to evaluate that. Yeah, so that's a few fees also input. Um, yeah, as well. It's important.
Yeah, people are doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> people are doing all kinds of stuff. It's, it's not easy. Yo. It's like, you know, listen, man, I don't know, man, when, listen, doing stuff in Africa is hard. It's, it's man, doing stuff here is easy. It's easy. Africa is hard, you know? Yeah, it's hard. It's not, it's not a system per se. I think it's, it's, the, it's the individual mindset. Um, you know, it's hard. So it's just like, uh, you know, uh, adequate supervision is, is always important, always important, because uh, there's a high probability something's going to go on the side. There's do best fly, most of them. So, all right. Adia, you are late, <laughs> but thanks for joining anyway. Um, Yeah, yeah. So, so even financing, right? So, um, um, is uh, you know, we talk about that. If you're in the West, there's a couple of things you can do. Where, where do you, you know, what rates you should use, what interest rates you look at? Should you take the money from here? Um, so, so there's there's a bunch of stuff we can we can do. We are not we are not a hap, uh, helpless and stuff. Um, I don't always. Um, right now, I use most of the, I can say 70% of the project um, paid out of cash, 30% financed through various, you know, other ways. Uh, so there's a couple of things you can do. So I've seen people do 50-50. I've seen people in Ghana. I've seen people in Ghana, literally. Being an apartment complex is all financed from the U.S., right? There's a couple of ways you can do about that, Okay. Yes, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot. Um, it's going to test you. It's going to really test you, you know. Um, so, but but I always I always figure, you know, there's a way. And I always think like, you know, you got to think outside the box. Um, you know, don't, sometimes, you know, when you push it, it doesn't work. And you got to reevaluate. Um, you reevaluate all the time. And, 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 and you have to take care of yourself, you know. The stress level is very important. Like it's very, very important. You get to a certain age, um, and you develop yourself and your better life to assess certain things that you don't want to do. Because sometimes now about the money that you're gonna make is just you don't want the stress that come with potential money, right? So we have to if you're twenties, yeah, yeah, you can you can, you know, you can you can go at it, you know, and stuff like that. Um, but um, so it's hard. It is it is really hard. Anybody tell you it's easy. Uh, it's not true. It's very hard. Um, you know, it's like, um, and so my goal is to, is to share that with you and then, you know, give you some ideas how to, you know, move around. Okay. Other than that, other than that, uh, thank you everyone for joining me. Share the video. Um, keep your eyes uh, on the road. Look at the world. Look at how much we can make more money, increase our money, how much we can keep. It's not how much you make. Is how much you can keep, and this is you know this is this is the formula, okay? This is the formula, okay? This is the formula. How much you can keep is not net, okay? After you've taken care of all your priorities, so retirement, mortgage, and everything, savings, how much is left? That is how much you kept, okay? So that is what. So that is the number you want to grow. That is the number you want to grow. So. After all the expenses and everything, what is left is how much you made. That's the mentality. That's how much you not, not gross, not after taxes net, okay? After all the expenses. So, um, uh, do you think we should rethink visiting Ghana for the next quarter? So I think um, this is when you know this is what happens if <sighs> to the Yolo people, <laughs> you only live one's life. <laughs> One has to build himself to have the luxury to live like that long term, though. Long term, this is not a time to just go and blow your money. I know December is coming, Ghana is awesome in December. This is not a time, this is the time you gotta be smart uh, because inflation is gonna be there, job, uh, job cuts is happening, and so. You got to be smart. You got to be You got to be disciplined. This is not the time. 2019 was the time to go to Ghana and blow your money and do all the stupid stuff, you know, one wants to do. 
But now you can't do that. You can't move like that. If you're going to Ghana, it has to be purposeful, right? Is that you have a business that you know you want to look at, invest, or you're building your project, but go there on vacation and blow your money, um, unless you got it like that. But you know, you get it like that is relative, right? It's relative. Okay. So so because uh, <laughs> I've talked to people that I thought I have a lot of money. And they start breaking it down, and then it's not a lot of money. So, so be smart about it. The goal is to build yourself longevity for every five years to have a life changing thing in your life in, in, in terms of the lifestyle, right? And to keep it up. So, every five years, life should be extremely better. Okay. We don't want you, you make money, you're successful. And you blow it up, and then you go back, and you're doing the same thing now. It's, 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 a, it's a bad approach. Okay, $100,000. Okay, Nana Dreams, elaborate on that for me. Yes, so that's how much you keep, right? That's how much you keep. That's what uh, I've been taught. That's how much you keep. <laughs> Night train. <laughs> hey, that's happened. Our people are awesome. <laughs> Whew. Oh, man, that's happened. But we tell you, Night Train, when you come to consultation, there's a way we can help you protect that, that the person is not selling the stuff, right? There's a way. There's a way. Uh, it's a couple of ways we can do it. Um, you know, and so you have to do that. Um, so... My thing is about solutions. Now that the problems are going to be there, they'll invent new ones. They're probably inventing new ones because when you pe put people in desperation, they become creative, uh, coming up with ways to go around uh, doing the right thing. So our goal is to make this thing very, very difficult, less likely that they become successful in the attempt. And you come there, we give you consultation. I'm not worried about anybody selling my property. I'm not worried about that kind of stuff, okay? <laughs> Prophet Asimo. Thank you for the title. I'm working at it. Um, so yellow people, take a break. This is not it. This is not it. And this is the time too you can you can start buying other assets that are gonna have value and stuff like that. Um, because even when your money is in your savings, um it's still the dollar is still being or the foreign currency is still being weakened a little bit, not at the rate as the Ghanaian city, but this is the time you start being strategic and see what are the successful, what other people that have hundred million, a billion dollars, what they are doing, you know, and stuff like that. So there's things, there's other assets that you can you can also acquire that um, you know you can sell it in the future and then make some money because um, right. But this is not a time to go to Ghana and blow your money. No, uh, this is not it. Okay, this is not it. I don't care what somebody is telling you. This is not it. Okay, we're not doing that. You should not be doing that. This is a time to be wise with your money because when you run out of money, you're going to find out how few your friends and family members are. <laughs> okay, uh, you're going to find out. So don't run out of money. I don't want you to put yourself in a situation. You have to go beg anybody. I don't want that for you. Okay, all right. So uh, YOLO, wait. Okay. Um, for consultation, there's the website. Um, go to the website, book a session. We can talk. We can look at your individual situations. We can give you some tips uh, how you can finance this project. When you can wait, I can give you some of the insight uh, that I can talk publicly about what is going on in Ghana, the financial outlook. Um, because uh, I do get heads up, to be honest. I do get heads up several months a year of what is going to come in the Ghana situation, I do guess that. And for the last three years, it has been very accurate. But I can't put it publicly like that. Um, so come get information so you can plan and and and, uh, and put yourself in a good place to, to win. Okay? All right. Thank you guys for taking the time to, let me see. 
Yeah, so you know that's another option <laughs> to be quite to like, you know crypto is being down, you know stuff like that too. You know if it's something you're interested, in, we can we can talk uh, during consultation about what else you can look at besides Bitcoin as well. There's another one other other coin. Okay, all right. Other than that, thank you. Uh, appreciate the turnout. A lot of people came in here today. I appreciate feedback. Please share the videos. You can send me comments. I like reading all of them. Uh, send me an email. I want you to be very, very successful. Well, uh, to create a legacy for your family, and uh, and 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 also like uh, to live life to the fullest. That's all I'm about. I'm not about living lives to the minimum, struggling and stuff like that. Life is meant to to be lived very well, and I plan to do that, and I am doing that. And I plan to even do it on a on a bigger scale, and we can talk about you know, you know what the other ways you also can can be able to do that and create a legacy if you have children to protect that legacy for them to make sure that whatever, whenever you're not here, they get what is right uh, right for the yes. Okay, Biswa, thank you for coming in. Um, all right, so there's a lot of stuff. Don't want to keep it too long. Appreciate you guys. See you in about two weeks or so. Stay strong. Um, and it's a build a good network of support. We all need that. Um, stuff like that. You know, be good, be a good human being fundamentally. Uh, have positive thoughts, and everything you touch is gonna be amazing, right? You know, don't don't have, you know, be be great. Be, you know, all right. Thank you. All right, uh, wish you the best in health, in relationships, in life, and all uh, success as well, okay? Uh, Thanksgiving is coming every day, um, so I'll skip next week. The World Cup is coming, so take your time if you're in soccer fan. I'm a soccer fan. Uh, I watch, uh, plan to watch uh, all the games and not invest too much emotionally, uh, but... But just enjoy. So happy Thanksgiving. You know, stay blessed. Thank you.